second channel, man. And the producer for this week is T Customs, man. There's a link in the description below that's gonna take you to downloadpass.com, man, where you can find this mixtape where this beat came from, man, and the contact information via Twitter to get in touch with T Customs. And if you holler out on to get some beats, man, tell them I sent you. But anyway, on to today's reply, man. And honestly, I'm hoping this is the last time I'm going to be talking about Justin Bieber, dude. But you know what it been the holidays, not much shit is actually dropping. And it's that Justin Bieber and Lil Wayne backpack. And you know what, I'm not trying to say that the song was bad. Not by a long shot. Because honestly, it's straight, man. I mean, that beat is good, man. Justin Bieber's doing his thing. Now, I'm not saying Lil Wayne did good by a long shot. As I've been saying for so much now, you can literally see Lil Wayne doesn't give a fuck anymore. But he doesn't murder the song. The song is still bearable, man. And you can definitely see what this project is amounting up to for Justin Bieber, dude. He's pretty much getting his Justin Timberlake on. In which, I can't knock it. I mean, the success that Justin Timberlake has been seeing since he teamed up with Timberland and such, man, has been enormous. And then everyone could have seen this coming a mile away, seeing as though that Justin Bieber is consistently being seen out with rappers and shit. So quite honestly, it's the pop thing to do to cross over the hip hop these days, man, because quite honestly, we got the best beats out of every music genre, but that's my personal opinion. I definitely recommend you go ahead and peep it out, man. It's a decent change of pace. But anyway, on to as download pass. And the real Mac Mill says, whatever cuz, you too proud to follow back man, when what I'm talking about is some business man, but it's straight, like come on dude. Let me tell you guys straight up, on YouTube and Twitter and anything man, I do not follow back. Simply because I'm not going to fuck up my stats or the information that I get from Twitter or from fucking YouTube. Because in order for me to do this show, I use those networks. And also, I'm not trying to fake fucking stats to make it look like I'm bigger than what I really am when that shit is fucking pointless. I want to know exactly how many people are following me that are interested in the content that I fucking provide. If you can't respect that, then you ain't worth shit. And second of all, it ain't like I'm dodging your fucking comment, dude. If you wanna holler at me, fucking holler at me. Say what the fuck you want to say. Motherfuckers is trying to be so secretive and shit, trying to hide some conversations and shit, when they ain't got nothing to say. Quit acting like you a platinum selling fucking artist and shit, and just have a conversation with me if you want to have a conversation with me. In the next statement, people say this shit a lot to me, dude. Especially when they mad that I slammed their fucking favorite artist or some shit. They be like, man... You just need to listen to it again, dude. The lyrics just went over your head and shit like that. First of all, if the song is fucking garbage, there's no lyrics in the world that's gonna save that shit. Always remember, the song comes first. But motherfuckers need to know some of my favorite artists before you talk that bullshit on how lyrics went over my fucking head. My favorite rapper for quite some time has been AZ, motherfucker, who is a complex fucking lyricist. Been a huge fan of Lupe Fiasco, man. I've broken down J Electronica songs, man, and that shit is fucking difficult. So before you try to talk your shit and try to justify a terrible fucking song, saying that I don't like it because the lyrics went over my head, check your fucking self, dude. 